However, there is something that Murder Mystery 2 needs to do, and if Nicholas does it correctly, MM2 could be one of the top games on Roblox, rivaling games like Brookhaven and Blockfruit. So what does Murder Mystery 2 need to do exactly? Well, they need to release some sort of good or big update in the summertime. Specifically, something like Season 2 or something of that nature. But why do I think a big update needs to come in the summer? Well, Murder Mystery 2 is actually doing the best it's ever done. Like, in terms of player count, MM2 has never seen this much players before. Just a couple weeks ago, MM2 hit 200,000 players for the very first time. MM2 has never hit 200,000 players before, and even hitting stuff like 100,000 players was kind of a rare occurrence for Murder Mystery 2, and now it's since doubled that. And at the time of recording this, MM2 is in the top 5 most popular games when it comes to concurrent players. You might think why MM2 is doing so well at the moment, but this is actually because of the Valentine's event. For some reason, the Valentine's event just did so well for Murder Mystery 2. Wait, we can see on Rollymond right now, and as you can see, as of right now, MM2 is doing the best it's ever been. Like in August of 2021 was MM2's previous peak when Nebula ended up releasing. But then we get all the way to the Valentine's event, and this was its new peak. I don't know how accurate this shows when it comes to concurrent players. So it says its peak is 124,000 when it hit around 200k. I mean, we can see MM2 is currently at 184,000, so this is sort of wrong, but like we can even see stuff like the Halloween and Christmas event didn't even come close to the Valentine's event. Like, like the Halloween event was all the way down here when it came to players, and Christmas did slightly better. Basically, everyone likes that MM2 actually did release an update that's not Halloween or Christmas related since the past couple years of MM2, the only big update we've seen is for Halloween and Christmas, but we actually saw one that was not for that, and it was for Valentine's Day, and everyone loved this event. And Nicholas did say he wants to do more updates throughout the year, so that's very good news for the future of Murder Mystery 2. But of course, if Nicholas wants to maximize the amount of players we actually get in Murder Mystery 2, we will need to see a big update in the summer, and of course, the summertime is when Roblox gets the most amount of players since everyone's out of school at that time. Nicholas did say he wants to do some sort of summer event this year, which was great to hear, and I do think that could end up being MM2's new peak when it comes to player count. And whatever this event is, I do hope it's gonna be some sort of big event, because if it's a big event, more people will want to be playing this game and grind, and I feel like part of the reason the Valentine's event did so well is because there were actually lots of items you had to grind for, because of course you can't actually spend Robux on these items, you have to grind, so a lot more people were playing so they could try to get a lot of these items. They did hold a lot of value, especially when the update first released to the game. I do feel like if Nicholas does some sort of big update in the summer, MM2 could honestly hit like over 500,000 players. I don't really doubt that seeing how well MM2 is doing in February of all times. Like, you wouldn't really think February would be MM2's best moment, but you know what it is. Just imagine how much people will be playing in the summertime. Like, this is a very big opportunity for Murder Mystery 2. So Nicholas, I beg of you to actually do something crazy in the summertime. Like, I want to see that player count spike, dude. But yeah, guys, that's about it to this video, so I'm gonna end it off here. So until next time, goodbye!